Momotaros, Momotaros, Momotaros. Go. Shit. Well, that worked nicely. Momotaros, Momotaros, Momotaros. Uh, what happened here? <laughs> well, what happened is I happened to like a character design of a of a uh, common rider guy, and I. Well, I guess I went a little crazy with it. <laughs> uh, nice little notch there to keep it in line. Boop. Bandai, 2005. Uh, over in Japan, they obviously have Power Rangers. We got Power Rangers over here from, what was it, Jew Rangers? <laughs> but uh, in Japan, you have the Power Rangery type guys called Super Sentai. And then you have, like, the RoboCop-type guys. Over here we had it as uh, VR Troopers, which was actually from some other, uh, you know, Japanese production. And then you have Masked Rider guys. Over here we got Kamen Rider, or over here we got Masked Rider over in Japan. They're called Kamen Rider, which means masked. But anyway, uh, you know, and Saban did all three of the things I'm just talking about. Ugh. They did a horrible job on that. Anyway, <laughs> what we have here is Momotaros. He's this red devil guy. Apparently he had to have a contract with one of the common Rider guys. And it's kind of funny because I know nothing about this character, except that he looks cool. And pretty much, <laughs> he's always getting hit in the ass. It's just really strange. What happens is he uh, joins a fight, r reluctantly, and people always mistake him for one of the bad Power Ranger-y type, uh, uh, alien type guys, you know. <laughs> Rightfully so, he looks like a devil. And he almost always gets hit in the ass, be it an arrow to an ass, or uh, something like that. But I really don't know much about it, because I never watched it. Uh, this is from the series Kamen Rider Den-O. And his name Momotaro, M Momotaros, is actually... Uh, a play on Momotaro, which was a popular uh, Japanese folk story about a peach that came down a river, an old couple found it, they open up the peach and there's a baby inside, or in some other versions of the story, they come across a peach, they eat it, they turn young and then they screw and then they pop out Momotaros naturally. In any case, he goes off when he's like in his teens and he fights a bunch of uh, uh, demons. And later on, they changed that to ogres, and then later on, ja the Japanese changed that to, uh, uh, instead of killing all the ogres and taking back the uh, treasure and the uh, leader in chains, they gave up. They were just like, oh, we're sorry, we will never be bad again, you know, and then that was how he got the treasure. But in any case, this is a play on that. And as you can see on his belt, that's not an upside down heart. That's actually a peach. And that's a theme that would show up in later Kamen Rider uh, uh, stories. You know, there was a whole season of just them, <laughs> like instead of having like dinosaurs or whatever the fuck, you know, or grasshoppers, it was fruit. Yeah, it was fruit. Here's guys from Kamen Rider Game, G-A-I-M. I mean, look, this guy's a pineapple. This guy's a mango. Good lord. Look at me, I'm a race car. Vroom vroom. Yay. I even got a spoiler on my head. Ugh, even racer cars don't have a use for a spoiler, much less a person's head. I just watched a Common Rider movie that I randomly found on the internet where they're fighting Dr. Pac-Man. Yeah. Yeah, it's... It's interesting. It's unique. <laughs> anyway, Momotaurus isn't in that. I'm, I'm just babbling. Common Rider is weird. Common Rider is just weird. Anyway, first off, I got this guy a long time ago. Very long time ago. It's USB powered. Yay. It doesn't really do much, does it? He tilts his head, and it's supposed to be, from what I could tell of the Japanese packaging, he was supposed to just move when he heard sound, but it didn't work that way. The thing was going off nonstop, and I eventually just turned it off, and I was like, okay, this is really annoying and dumb. And it's, it's so glitchy. 
Like, I'll try it in different ports and in different types of USBs, and I never know what's going to happen. He might just sit there blinking his eyes every couple minutes. He might actually tilt his head like he is now. You just never know. It's really annoying. Uh, then later on, I found this. Uh, the seller didn't even know what he had. And it's, as you can see, it's very close to, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the other head, except it's a lot more pointy. And that's really cool. Something that would never be allowed in America, no doubt. And I'm guessing that says, uh, what does that say? That says, uh, Common Rider Deno. Yeah, I'm right. Okay. Yeah, this is from Common Rider Deno. It's just probably from a grab machine or something. And it's just a cute thing of his head. A bust, you know. Well, not a bust. It's just a head sculpt. And as you can see, I mean, look at that. Look at how cool his head is. That is goddamn awesome. What a neat guy. <laughs> I just love this. He's pretty much an asshole in the uh, in the uh, live action show. It's like uh, you know, he's always like, "Eh, I'm not gonna fight." And he sees the good guys getting their asses kicked, and he's like, eh, "I guess I'll join in." Uh, one thing right away that I don't like. Do you notice this? Uh, this is how he normally looks. This uh, uh, bright red color, and over there it gets a little bit darker. And then on this, it's like this maroon almost. Uh, uh, dark red, and that's not quite accurate. But yeah, uh, it's cool. I just don't like the color, unfortunately. There was one that was a little bit closer to this, but it was it was more of a cloth type of body, and these things had big ugly straps coming off, you know, like the armor, you know. Okay, uh, what does this come with? As you can see here, it comes with some paperwork, but it's more than just paperwork. Apparently in the show for some reason the characters <laughs> while they're on the food cart uh have to wear signs almost i don't know what the signs say maybe it's the special of the day maybe the signs uh indicate they've been bad i don't know it's like a school thing i have no idea you know like japanese school kids have to wear a sign and stand outside the classroom and all that shit uh i have no idea but it comes with these signs as well as sunglasses but they're made of paper, for God's sakes. I am so not cutting these out. You're better off using, like, uh, some small Barbie-type glasses of some sort. I mean, Barbie might be too big, but I'm sure there's other action figures with sunglasses of various sizes. There's just no point to cutting these out. Might as well leave it as paperwork. A cute idea, just not my thing. God, that guy in the back is so annoying. Ugh. Ah, uh, here you have, uh... S.H. Figuarts. S.H. Figuarts is a new standard figure series that incorporates the Bandai action figure art under the theme Pursuing Character Expression Through Humanoid Action. Say that three times fast. Uh, <laughs> uh, Momotaro's DX Set Imagine. 2007. 2009? Wow, 2009. That's how long ago this was? God, that was ten years ago. Uh, yeah. Simple style and heroic action, plus deluxe option. Yeah, the deluxe option here is that he comes with a, a cafeteria table, as he uh, sat at in the uh, uh, live action. And also, uh, he comes with a little <laughs> mug, I'm guessing, of cocoa or something? With, like, blue marshmallows on top? I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm looking at. And I can barely get it to... Uh, show you. It won't, it won't zoom in all the way. Well, he comes with his own cocoa or whatever the fuck that is. Uh, he also comes with a plate. Very, very pointless. Very pointless uh, piece of uh, accessory. And he also comes, luckily, with hands. Oh my god. He comes with two gnarled... Oh my god! Slippery motherfuckers. Two gnarled hands that are kind of just gnarled. You know, your, your typical rider, Power Ranger type of, oh, I've been hit, and I'm in pain, stay back kind of hand. <laughs> and similar to that, not quite the same. And here you've got a, a thumbs up hand, which is just a cute little addition. It doesn't even have a hole in it. It's just strictly to give him a thumbs up. That's kind of cool. And you have this hand, which is just a fist just a fist no hole in it again to uh, hold anything 
And on this, he has another fist that doesn't do anything. And here, obviously, is the hand for holding swords and cups of cocoa with blue marshmallows in it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is cool. Uh, as for the table, let's see here. Apparently, Momotaros and his three friends ride on something called the Den Liner over in the food cart. <laughs> it's a train. Uh, it's common rider Den O. And apparently, it's a train. I don't know. It's weird. But yeah, his three friends uh, ride along in this train on the food cart. And what's weird is, I mean, here you have a table and two chairs from, you know, that scene, from, from that setting. And apparently there's, they never made the rest of it. They didn't make the rest of the room in this scale. They have a common Rider SIC figures. And they're just a little bit shorter. And the unfortunate thing to this is they did make the whole room, as you can see here. But the problem is it's not in scale with the Figuarts version. That's a real pity. I mean, I suppose if somebody likes them enough, they can get uh, the SIC Momotaros and the SIC uh, Deno uh, cart uh, set. But, you know, then you're sitting here with a Figuarts figure and you're like, well, what do I do with that now? <laughs> I mean, I like Momotaros, but I already have the figure arts version. I already have a head of him. And I have a big-headed uh, mechanical version of him. I mean, I don't need much more, do I? Still, it's a pity that they didn't make it in figure arts scale. Ikinari! Oi! Sanju! ちょっと待て、しんのくい。そりゃ俺の決めゼリフだろうが。なんか変な予感がするぜ。変な予感。え、わあ、赤いブリブリタイマー。ブリブリ。俺はモモタロスって言うんだ。なんだブリブリタイモンって。変身。変身。ああ、俺の変身したい。ブリブリ。そのとお
see, here's another figure arts character. She looks pretty tall, though. Eh, maybe she's around the same height. Let's see. I haven't done a review yet on her, I don't think. I I'll probably do that soon. So stay subscribed there, because I will get to it eventually. I've had this forever, but uh, I haven't liked it enough to uh, <laughs> do a proper review on it yet. Uh, yeah, her legs look bigger, almost. Yeah, that just looks weird. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. In any case, <laughs> in any case, it's cute. <coughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, there's really not much to say about this. Momotaros is just a cool looking guy. I mean, you know, it's like, it's one of those things where I really don't care anything about the uh, series itself. You know, I mean, I can't, I can't suffer through a uh, uh, common Rider shows. I mean, you know, I, I like seeing clips and stuff, you know, I'll be on like a, I don't know, like a Twitter or something horrible like that, and there's always a Japanese person that always puts clips up of, uh, you know, Kamen Rider and anime and uh, other things like that, and that's cute and all, but as far as me sitting there and watching the show, I just can't, I just can't watch an entire episode. It drives me insane. Uh, yeah. It's strictly a character bought out of love for the uh, character design. And I really do wonder, I really do wonder if Yasushi Narasawa had a hand in this. Because I know Yasushi Narasawa, rest in peace, uh, did do Kamen Rider art. He did do character designs for them. And it makes me wonder if maybe he had a hand in this guy's creation. I don't know for sure. Possibly not. But who knows. Uh, let's look at this thing. I really hate the clip this has. <clears throat> The clip it has is just really awkward. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's posable, but eh, it's just weird. Uh, Bandai 2009-2007. Yeah, so around the same time as that thing. And yeah, he, he's just a cute little SD version of uh, Momotaros. <laughs> God, is that annoying, though. Holy shit. Oh, God. It's so annoying. Oh, God, he's so annoying. <laughs> I guess it is sound activated. Well, now it's not doing anything. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Momotaros from Kamen Rider Deno. Just a rather cool looking figure. Cool looking character design. I don't think I need any more Momotaros uh, <laughs> accessories. This is plenty. I've got a lifetime worth of Momotaros here. I don't need any more. Uh uh. God, that is annoying though. going on he's just like stuck like that there's like <laughs> he's not even lighting his eyes up oh god i have no idea eh, like subscribe hit the bell support me if you want and have a good day Now you know why I unplugged that motherfucker. <laughs>